For cheap, fast, and reliable Call of Duty modded services, check out DGZ Gold. Use code 9 for a 5% discount. Enter DGZ Gold giveaways to win loads of awesome prizes. Thank you for sponsoring this video, but let's get right into this glitch. Hello guys, it is Silent 9 and today we have a video on two insane zombie pileup glitches and these can help you with getting your battle pass done and you want to do these now because the new battle pass will be coming out in a few days and you want to make sure you have all of your tiers unlocked for this one so you can get everything. So make sure you guys get ready and get everything done right now and you can do that with these glitches. But anyways, let's get right into this glitch. Now these glitches are not new. There really hasn't been that many new glitches recently, but these glitches still work and they're still very, very good. And these two are the best working glitches. So the first one is gonna be on Firebase Z. Now it is best to do this with one zombie left and that's because they're gonna first throw meat at you. Then when you get in the glitch, they're gonna stop. So do this in the end of a wave. Do not do it with tons and tons of zombies chasing you. But now you guys need to come all the way over to this building right here and go in it. Then go up this ramp. Then mantle on this right here. You guys want to slowly edge out like you see me. And you guys want to get to this point right here. You guys want to line up where you see me line up. So line up right here. Then you want to do a simple run and jump just like so. And you want to land exactly where I land. Now you want to continue to pull forward for a few seconds. Then let go. Now when you let go, if you do end up starting to slide back, just continue to hold forward for a little bit longer. And that should stick you right where I am. And you should be able to let go of moving forward. But once your feet are floating and once you are not moving and you are completely still, then you guys can look around. Now when you are in this spot and you're in the correct spot, definitely do not move around just look around because if you move around then you will fall out so keep that in mind now like i said when you first get into that first ledge before you jump to here they're gonna throw meat at you but once you are in this spot they're gonna stop throwing meat at you so keep that in mind so do this at the end of a wave you will not be able to collect any power-ups but this glitch is easy to get in so it shouldn't be that much of a problem what you guys want to do is simply go at the end of a wave you can drop down head over to his ammo crate and pick up ammo that's exactly what you want to do make sure it's the end of a wave so you guys can jump right back up in this glitch now another thing is if you guys get deadshot daiquiri that'll definitely help you guys out with those headshots because you guys do have clear easy headshots like they're literally right in front of you and you guys can get those camo challenges so that is that one right there and let's get right into the next one now this next one is going to be on a d machina so first step is you want to go right ahead and load up into a d machina game then you want to get your guns ready, so bring whatever guns that you want to bring in this glitch. You guys can bring the wonder weapon, the shockwave if you want to, and you can also bring any explosive weapons, and you will not take any explosive damage. So this is perfect for going through waves and getting that rocket launchers and all that stuff unlocked. So perfect for that. But once you're done with getting everything ready, you then want to go right ahead and get quick revive, and you want to make sure all this is at least tier 3. It needs to be tier 3. Then you guys want to get Juggernog tier 3. Then you want to go right ahead and get some armor. Because they did patch your prone mode. So we're going to have to worry about taking damage. If we bring all this, then you should be perfectly fine. So at this point, you should have some armor, Jug, Quick Revive, and you should be perfectly fine with this next step. So next thing is you need to get three zombies. And it needs to be at the end of a wave. So you can do this as easy as possible. So get those three zombies. Then you want to follow me to the crash site. And you want to make sure you follow exactly where I go. You want to round up the zombies like you see me then you want to follow me to the spot where i'm going so bring the zombies exactly right here then you want to come all the way over to this spot right here and go prone that's exactly what you need to do at this point you want to wait until the zombies start to hit you when they start to take damage wait at least a second then you guys want to stand up go prone stand up go prone and keep on pushing forward while you're doing this until you fall underneath the map this is a bit more challenging without the prone mode glitch, but keep on doing it and you will get it. And eventually, once you're done standing and going prone, you will eventually just fall underneath the map just like so if you have done it right. And that's how you guys do that after patch 1.14 without the prone mode. You just want armor, quicker vibe, and jug and you should be perfectly fine. Now you guys can stay here, there is ammo and you can get limited ammo here, but I'm going to show you guys an even better place to go to do the unlimited ammo pile up. First thing is you want to follow me over to this tree. And make sure you follow me so you don't fall underneath the map and die. So follow me. 
Next thing is you want to stand up and you want to run exactly where I run. Then you will drop down. Once you drop down, you want to crouch, look to your left, then move forward. Once you're done moving forward, you should drop down and then you should be able to see where you are underneath the map. You want to follow me all the way over to where I go and you guys want to go prone right underneath this barrier. You then want to follow me and crawl exactly where I crawl so you don't hit any death barriers and you guys are perfectly fine. So crawl exactly where I crawl. Once you're at this point, you want to go right ahead and crawl right to where you see the broken concrete. You want to follow me, then yeah, it should be good and you don't need healing aura at all. And you should be able to just crawl simply underneath the map all the way to spawn without healing aura. At this point, you want to follow me and jump on this higher point of this barrier. Then you want to go prone. Now what you can do to make it so you can go prone with the wonder weapon is pull out the wonder weapon then go prone right afterwards. That's exactly what you need to do. Just, that's it and you guys should be able to go prone with the wonder weapon. Now keep in mind when you switch from one weapon to the other weapon then you won't be able to get it back so just keep the wonder weapon on the screen if you have the shockwave. But yeah this is the only weapon that you need to do this with is the shockwave that's it. Other weapons you don't need to do this with you can simply go prone and take them out. Follow me crawl where I crawl. Simply go all the way over here. There's one more little bit that you have to crawl to, then you'll be at the spot. But just follow exactly where I'm going. Go around this barrier. So you're going to be going around this barrier. Go to the crafting bench. Then follow me to the ammo. Because you need to come all the way over here. Once you are at the ammo, you then want to look where I look. Look to the left. Then move to the ammo. Do not move too much. Because if you move too close to the ammo, then there will be a death barrier. So move a little bit until you can actually refill the ammo by looking up at it. Now if you do move too forward where there's a death barrier, just simply move back a little bit and you'll be perfectly fine. At this point you can look up at the ammo and you'll be able to get ammo for anything. And if you want to kill the zombies, just simply turn around, shoot the zombies, and that's it. You will be in the glitch just like that. You're going to be right next to ammo and you're going to be able to refill it and you will be able to kill all the zombies. So that's going to be about it for this video. Those are two glitches that can help you guys out with the battle pass and with these two glitches. You can use them to get all of your battle pass stuff done before it ends in four days. So do these glitches. These are the best ones that are like completely solo without no second controllers. These are just very good. And like I said, use them for your battle pass. But that's it for this video. And let's get right into the trick questions. The answer to the last trick question is all of them. Good job to leave now. If you guys like, thanks so much for participating. That means a whole lot. Huge shout out to everyone that does participate. But anyways, let's get right into the next trick question. So this next one is, what has a thumb and four fingers but isn't alive? Answer down below and if it's the first person to get that right, then you will get a shout out in the next video. But that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to become part of the ninja team today. Because in order to be a ninja, you have to be silent and have to go silent nine. But anyways, that's the piece of the team's video. Have a great day. That's awesome. See you later. Peace.